OK, we're going to look at the next stage in assembling a circuit for our light. What we've got here is a USB power lead. It has a 5-pin USB plug here and only two of the pins are connected and that is uh, five, negative and positive 5 volts DC. So we're going to use that to power our LED. And we do that by just unwind the cable tie here and take the lead out. Now the, the wires on this have already been stripped and tinned from the factory so that's nice and easy to fit. And if we look at our PCB here we've got our PCB from earlier where we fitted our switch and our resistor. Now we can see on the screen printing here it says power and if you look very closely there hopefully you can see it it has plus and negative plus and minus. So they correspond to plus and minus. The convention for that is generally red is positive, black is negative, and that's like the, the, the usual convention for that. Now, we've got a couple of holes here which we could mount these through. But if we actually look, that is a mounting hole. These are mounting holes, and we were going to use this to mount our PCB into our light later on. So what we can do to offer some is to put these through here now we could fix these with a cable tie that won't fix right through there but we can fix it with a cable tie but it gives us a degree of just um, just to protect it being pulled off rather than just having it connected by these small wires then what I'm going to try and do here is just fit the positive wire through the plus hole and you can see that and just bend it over about 30 degrees then I'm going to put the negative wire the black wire through the negative hole and you can see this is quite tricky the other ones come out now you need to make sure these are both through and pushed fully in you can then carefully turn the board over keep it in place and as I said before a good way of keeping it in place if you can't if it's moving about is to use a cutting tool to hold it in place then I'm going to take my soldering iron and clean the tip I'm going to tin the tip of the soldering iron and just very carefully add a bit of solder to those two connections. And there we can pull those through. Be careful with this because it is very, and you, we might use a cable tie or something later to connect that. But we can then take our clippers that we were using earlier, our side cutters, and just cut off. And there you can see we've got our PCB now and we've got our power wire connected, laced through there, uh, black wire to negative, red wire to positive. And now we're just ready to fit the LED either on a fly lead or to the actual PCB itself and then connect it up to a USB and test it.